know, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fry up some good old bacon here in the skillet. And that's going to render out and give me enough uh, bacon grease to fry my cabbage in. You can use as much bacon as you want. Put your bacon in a cold skillet and that helps render your, your fat out. Just a little bit better than if you put it in a scalding hot skillet right off the bat. So I'm going to get that bacon cooked and then we'll throw the rest of our ingredients in here in a minute. Okay, our bacon's good and rendered out. It's cooked. So I'm going to add about three cloves of chopped garlic. I'm just going to cook that for just a little bit. I done dropped it. We're just going to cook that for just a little bit. You don't want to burn your garlic. If you have to, you can add you a little bit more uh, bacon grease to this if you don't think you got enough. If you got some bacon grease that you put back. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my cabbage. It smells really good. Now you can chop you up an onion if you want to. Put it with this. I'm going to stir it around just a little bit and all that bacon grease. Kind of get it coated in that grease. Then we're going to put a little bit of salt. Good now you can put a lid on this at this point and just let it cook down a little bit. That lid's too little. But you can put a lid on this and cook it down a little bit. And uh, then take the lid off and then let it keep frying and keep letting it cook down so it gets good and brown and caramelized. Now this is something that I do and you don't have to do this. You don't have to put this in here but I put just a little bit of brown sugar. That's going to help it caramelize and plus that just gives it a really good uh, just gives it a really good taste. Okay, you can see how it's starting to caramelize, getting good and beautiful and brown. It's still got a little, little ways to cook. Let it get a little more tender, a little more caramelized. Okay, our fried cabbage is done. You can see how much it really cooks down. So we'll fix Mr. Brown a plate. Supper time. You got all that, that fried cabbage, bacon. You got some onion in it. No onion this time. No onion in it this time. <laughs> Cornbread, beans, mm. pickled squash. Now I know that I, this, I can eat this. I know. That's good That's stuff. That's some of our favorite stuff right there. It's fried cabbage. I could eat this three times a week. I know. Easy. Good. Easy. Now you gonna taste that pickle squash? I'm gonna taste this pickle squash. I haven't tasted it yet. So if I make a face. <laughs> if you make a face, that's okay. Mmm. Tastes like pickles and tastes like squash, huh? Pickle squash. That's really good. It's really good with beans, too. That's gonna go really good with this plate. Yeah, it is. You're gonna have to get me some more. <laughs> okay. Some more of this. Anyways, guys, I hope y'all try the fried cabbage because it's easy to make and it's it's just really delicious and it's a really good side dish. So let's see y'all. God bless.